Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello, what's up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome. Oh, it was me. Then my J. What's up, one? Welcome back. Sorry, guys. Welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault right anyway you guys let's jump straight into today's video <laughs> guys anyway today we are talking about yumi dreams and dj mxo once again i did a video about them before where i was saying how annoying they are both of them and their channel annoys me. As a matter of fact, a lot of couple channels annoy me. I have nothing wrong with you guys being in relationships and doing your thing. But these YouTube couple channels, a lot of them are very phony. They are very fake. The people are fake. My act 24-7. There's a lot of people here on the YouTube streets and on the internet that deserve Oscars for their performances that they keep on giving us. And they're boring. Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO are a YouTube couple that do pranks on each other. Now the kicker is, they don't do their own pranks, no. They copy all these American pranks, you know, these challenges, all these things, these trending things. Last year, in my video, I said that couple channels, they never, they never survive. Not just the channel on its own, but the couple. Once you have a YouTube, it's like a cursed thing. You know on reality shows, then when the couples want to renew their wedding vows, huh? The next season, or sometime down the line in that season, they get a divorce. It's like a curse. So having a couple's channel, if you have one, you must know because it's gonna end in tears. It always does, eventually. When you're gonna play out your life, your personal life like that, it becomes a problem. And when you're working with your partner, and now it's all about getting the views, getting the, come on, let's record, let's record. Your relationships become something different, man. It's no longer fun. It becomes a problem. And I said that in my first Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO video, I said these people are not gonna last. Not that I want bad things to happen to people or their relationships. No, I want you guys to survive and thrive and be the greatest that you can be. Type of situation. I really actually don't care. Do your thing. Just live your life. You know what I mean? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I said that they're not gonna survive. Now this morning I watched a video, and in this video, this girl was talking about how. Um, Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO have unfollowed each other on Instagram. Not only that, they even put out a, a tweet or a post or something like that. Apparently, you know, I saw this on another video. That they are not going to be posting videos together. Does this mean that they are calling it quits as a couple or... This YouTube thing, like I just said, has become a problem in their relationship. Hey, YouTube is hectic. It will ruin your life. <laughs> but it can also make your life that much exciting and better. Okay, just the couples. It will ruin the couples' lives. That post. When have you seen a couple's channel thriving and surviving for till the end? Because they break up, they stop posting together. They then come out to tell us we've broken up. Then they come out to tell us who's going to get the channel and all that kind of stuff. I feel like if Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO have not broken up, right? They've just run out of content and there's absolutely nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do to revive that couple channel. Because what they do there is pranks. They're running out of pranks. Nobody's doing it anymore. If you have a couple's channel, or if you're planning to start a couple's channel, stop it. Don't do it. You're going to fail at some point. It will be fruitful because people, people like to watch people and wish that they could have their relationships. Oh, that'd be a couple. 
<laughs> when people press record, they become different people. The whole situation, the environment, the atmosphere, it changes. When that stop button is clicked, it's back to normal baby, normal life, normal couple things. And why have they unfollowed each other if they haven't broken up? Now they need to come back and come and tell us well, what the hell is actually going on. I don't really keep up with that channel. Now and then I'll see a video, I'll click it and watch it for maybe 10 min uh, 5 minutes or whatever or something like that. And then I have to click off because they, their channel sucks. All couples channels have done what it is that they do. There's nothing wow or spectacular about Yumi Dreams and the real DJ MXO. Even Yumi Dreams on her own personal channel, ch channel. You see? These people have no talent. They are not creative. They are just copycats. They are just copycats. Everybody copies each other here. Yeah? And it's boring. It's so boring. But the influence like a shit. What's happening with the relationship? Where are they? And why are they not posting together anymore? I guess Linda Carr once again was right. It brings me no joy to see people suffering. But uh, if I told you, I told you. I told you so type of situation they don't have any more content because all the pranks the couple pranks have been done and i'm sure the americans are now gonna cook up something new to do with couples maybe dj mxo and yumi dreams will jump on that because that's what they do they are not um original nothing about their channel was original nothing even the interaction look fake a lot of people envy that relationship like oh they're so perfect but do you really think that's how it really was because i doubt it very much i doubt it very much and i said it here we are here we are but i was saying that yumi dreams is that lady she copies everyone even her little dress up holes makeup things there's nothing spectacular that Yumi Dreams does. She's loud. Like any typical goofy YouTuber. You see? I'm not saying everyone. I'm saying some goofy ones. She's like that. She's loud. Sometimes what she's saying is inaudible. You can't understand because she's trying to ramble quickly, get through the video. It's boring. If you're going to start a, a, a couple channel in 2022, you're going to fail. If you're going to start a makeup channel and you're not doing something spectacular or different, you're going to fail. You will fail. There's no way you can survive. These dress up holes, that will stick around because people like fashion. Yeah? And these brands need people to promote the their, their, their clothing, the brand or what have you. But even that, that niche is dying out. It's dying how how many videos can you watch of people playing dress up? Of people doing fake pranks. The next step for Yumi Dream and DJ MXO was to have a baby. And now it's a family channel. But now we don't know if they're still together or not. I wouldn't be surprised if they're not. I wouldn't be I'm not saying they are. I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised. It was all fake. It's all fake. I don't care what anybody actually has to say about it. The fact of the matter is it's fake. And if you can't accept that in 2022, what's that? You're crazy. You are batshit crazy. Like these people. What people? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know. Right? So I really just wanted to come out here and ask you guys if you guys actually... Oh, another thing is that Yumi Dreams was catching some flack where people were saying that she's a scammer. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I watch a lot of YouTube from around the world. I have seen many other stories about these YouTube businesses that are scammerish. Yumi Dreams, in my opinion, and everything in this video has been my opinion. Things that I've observed, right? You, you be dreams. It just falls in, just blows with the wind, and does these things for the bag. Now people are calling Yumi Dreams a scammer. Her eyelash business is saying it's a scam. She doesn't deliver this, that, or the other. I'm not surprised. How many of you right now can actually sit there 
or type in the comment section down below and tell me that from the duration of Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO's channel, you actually know and understand these people. Can you say that? Has it never felt to you that this is all an act? It's staged, it's loud, it's, it's too much, it's, it's not realistic, obviously. Right, to me, it doesn't seem realistic. So I'm not surprised if they broke up. I'm not. Question is, who's going to keep that channel? Because it's got a lot of subscribers. If they're not going to post together anymore, what happens? Are they going to wait until they can copy other pranks? What, what, what are they going to do? Luckily, they both still have their own separate channels. But the thing is, the allure of Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO was them together. Oh, my man and the guy and... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Those two people are so annoying. It's like watching little babies. Like, Teddy time. He's like, mm, I can't finish any of their videos. I can't and I won't. I will never do it. I can't. Even if I want to. After I'm suggested a few things and it all looks the same. If I've seen one, I've seen them all. You know what I mean? It's like these TikTok dancers. Everybody's going to do the same thing over and over again. Yo! Oh. Yesterday I posted some videos that I, I, I used to post on Instagram on my other channel, Little Culture TV. Write some spirituality stuff. Just some woke shit, you know what I mean? And I wanted to post. Somebody said to me, don't do this. The algorithm is going to get messed up. What, what? Stick to your normal content. I wanted to post those videos because I was feeling like that. Like, you know, it's, there's a lot of things happening. Too many fake, like too much fake shit happening. Too much influence the like dirty influence dirty it's dirty it's tricky to me influence that we are getting it's like this reality that we're in is so fake eh? everything is fake here yeah? and it's trying to annoy me even more and that's why i posted those videos because i know that i have a lot of old people on this channel there were shorts and if you guys have a channel you're starting a channel you need to post shorts you can actually make good money from posting shorts so i posted a couple of them and some people got upset ah don't be upset this is live and here's a perfect example, this too. Everything is fake and it's boring. And I'm tired, eh? Somebody's gonna say, now that I said I'm tired, ah, then don't watch the channel. I'm gonna watch it if I wanna watch it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Hosalang, my opinion of the situation is that they are boring and fake. How? Yeah. I don't understand. I'm, I'm very confused. You know what it is? I don't like typical things, man. Things that are very normal and just... Oh, I've got smoke in my chest. In my lungs. Things that are just very normal and mundane and dry. Like, boring. Like Yumi Dreams and DJ MXO. I, I like things that are real, man. You know, I, I don't come out here with a script. I just speak. And those that thing annoys me. Unless... Your content is intended to be scripted. Like if you're doing drama or music, comedians, what, 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 what. Their pranks are supposed to seem real. Like, oh, it's just happening now. But we all know it's fake. Why do people, why do we actually consume this shit? I'm worried. And I, I, before I created this video, I was worried about you guys. Cause I was like, why are they, why do they consume the shit? Why are they okay with this mediocre shit? And then when somebody tries to, to, to show you some talent or something fun, you still get upset. But you are more than happy to defend and rally around people that are actually giving you the shittiest content you'll ever find. Wow. It's like everybody's in a loop. You want to see one thing over and over again done by different people, but they're doing the same thing. It's like the one chip challenge. Why the hell would you want to eat that stupid ass chip? You can see that everybody is suffering. People look like they're going to die from that chip. And then you go and you do the one chip challenge. Just for likes, views, and subscriptions. It's so stupid. Why do people do stupid things? Why are people so boring? Why? I don't understand. It baffles me. Right? So I just wanted to come out here, you guys. And talk about the situation because I spoke about it last year 
and people once again said I'm crazy and this, that and the other. But here we are in 2022 and all these things that I've been speaking about are, 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 are actually playing out. I was right. And baby, I am that person. I'm going to take that opportunity to come back and say, uh -huh. I told you so. <laughs> because I did. Type of situation, why not? Because my back was up, back up in a corner. How oh, dare you leave the car? Uh huh. Here we are today. And I was right. Right? But nothing with this too has been confirmed. I'm telling you about what I saw on another video and I wanted to talk about it. So I'm going to have to go back now and really thoroughly investigate. What's a hala? But the reason why I did this video is because I wanted to say that you see, I was right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And also, please do go and subscribe to my other channels. Their links are going to be in the description down below. Please subscribe, guys. If you like the car, you like the vault, you're going to like the other channels type of situation. Because I wanted to post more of the things I wanted to post. But I had to separate everything so that it makes sense and it's nice and clean, you know. I don't want to miss a situation. Someone said to me I mustn't post these other short clips or the music on this channel. The thing is, the reason why I was posting here, obviously, I have to promote the other channels. Where else can I do it? But here. And as soon as people are now starting to gravitate towards the other channels as well, and starting to subscribe more and thank you to those that have been subscribing wow it's uh, they're actually doing they're doing good you know for new channels um it only really makes sense for me to advertise them here so i'm gonna keep doing that until such time that our numbers are like okay we're good people are starting to pay attention to these other channels as well so guys after this please go down in the description um box and click on those links subscribe to those channels um, they are both mine and they are fun type of situation Right, but that's gonna bring us to the end of this video and I will see you guys in the next one. I absolutely love you Bye <laughs>